Hello friends, it was my intention to give my bed a complete makeover in January. Uh, it's not quite how it turned out, so stick around to see what happened. <laughs> a piece of artwork here in my uh, textile studio. It's a piece by Terry St. Cloud and it has a couple of words underneath and it says, she could never go back and make some of the details pretty. All she could do is move forward and make the whole beautiful. And the first time I saw that it struck me so intently <laughs> and it became the inspiration for an art exhibit I did. And um, I was thinking about that the other day and was decided it was time to bring the elements of that art exhibit out and give them a new life. So let me show you what I've got in mind. Probably about a decade ago, I did an art exhibit that was a whole installation of squares. Um, some of them were 12 inch like this one, some of them were nine inch like this one, and then some of them were the six inch size Basically, they're all wrapped in little quilts. Everything's stapled on. <laughs> it occurred to me recently that I have a quilt. It's just attached to all of these pieces. <laughs> so the idea is, I think that if I am able to um, take them off their frames and play with them a little bit, I might be able to make a quilt for the bed that would be kind of fun. So, here we go. I am working at getting the staples out. I am gonna see if it's possible. Now the funny thing about this is that they were uh, backed with scrap cloth. The whole thing, all of this, was scrap cloth to begin with. So, um, and it's very kind of improvisational style quilting anyway. Uh, no pattern, no um, nothing like that. It was very much a fun experience to make it up as I went along. So I am lifting those staples and I'm gonna cut these things apart, kind of take stock of what's here. Some of them are in pretty tight. This might actually be a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. We'll just see how it goes, right? And then there's uh, one on the corner here. I gave them all kind of hospital corners, so to speak, so that they would be nice and square on the corners. So, all right, so I got canvases with a few little holes in them where I sewed through them. Not a big deal. Hopefully I can find somebody who's interested in those. This is what it looks like when I have it off the frame. So, yeah, I am looking forward to having a quilt that looks like this for my bed instead of having these things packed away somewhere. That is exciting. border collie blend and she's about four months old and she came to live with us recently and we are very happy about that 
She is a active, loving, sweet girl, constantly watching and Xavier calls her our little anthropologist because she's always watching and to see what the people will do. So <laughs> it's been a lot of fun to have her as part of the family. So at the beginning of the year, I was determined I was gonna give the bed a makeover. We had just recently lost our dog and so suddenly there was nobody hanging out on the bed anymore. And I thought it was time to make a quilt, you know, have some fun, make it beautiful and vibrant and colorful in there. Uh, we use our, our, our bed happens to be in the living room. I know that's a little bit unusual, but it doesn't bother me at all. We have, uh, this is life after the tiny house, so to speak. We have a two bedroom house and one bedroom is his, is Xavier's uh, office. And this is my office, the other bedroom. And so we have in our living room, a bed and a Steinway concert grand. And you know, as you do, <laughs> and I guess we kind of treat our um, small house as a, <laughs> tiny house and dog sanctuary. <laughs> she got me. And so plans for making a quilt have been put on hold. Well, folks, I didn't get that quilt done. You may have kind of figured that out already. I did, however, get a little weaving done. It was a little bit easier to weave with cocoa around than it was to sew with cocoa around. I still don't know how she did this, but you know, girls got skills. Girls got skills. So, <laughs> really am in love with the way it looks to have that cloth that I just wove here in the arches of this old pipe organ casework. This was from a pipe organ from about 1860. My husband can tell by the way it's made. Isn't that amazing? And so I love the juxtaposition of this really cool textured old thing and this vibrant new thing. That makes me so happy. And there's, I need, I need to do that one. And then there's two others here in the room that I also want to weave cloth for because it's just, this is, this was a good idea. This was definitely a good idea. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Well, so let's see. I didn't get the quilt done. I got some weaving done. I've still got great plans for the new year, even though I have a, a puppy that kind of upsets the schedule a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. We're very happy to expand the family. It's a, it's a good thing. <laughs> 
So let's see, what else do you need to know yet before I go? So check out the description for a little bit more about our tiny house experience. And also in the description, you'll find a link to the Smart Sexy Small House vlog, which will show you some of the other projects that we've done around here. And let's see, what else is there? Oh, the Faith, Art, and Tiny House podcast is here on the channel. That is a um, playlist. And I kind of took a break from podcasting at the end of last year, at the end of 2020, but I'll be back at it in February. I've got some really cool plans for that. So I am um, really getting... Uh, excited about the potential for that again. So check out some old episodes there. There's some really cool stuff there. And coming up, I will be revisiting my Wellness Wednesday playlist, and I will be putting out a new video every first Wednesday of the month. And that I'm doing to force myself to uh, pay attention to some health issues and increase my level of wellness, move more, you know, all that stuff, all that resolution stuff. It's not a resolution though. And I'm not calling it exercise either. <laughs> no, we just, I'm just increasing my wellness level. That's all. And so, um, I think that's, I think that's all the good stuff. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I just want to pray a little blessing over you as we go. The Lord um, brought an idea to me at one point that we are the colors of God. And I think ever since then I have um, embraced my love of color more fully and more intently because I believe that we are all the expression of God, of the colors of God, of the sounds of God. And I just, I love that idea. It takes all of us. It takes the full variety of people uh, in all of our glory and all of our diversity to express the expanse of God and who God is. And I just think that's a really cool thought. So I want to bless you today to be the color that you are, to be the person you are, to be the uniqueness that you are, to be exactly who God has created you to be without apology. This is not something you have to try to do. You don't have to work at it. Um, an oak tree is an oak tree. I mean, you don't have to get up in the morning and think, now how do I be an oak tree? <laughs> you know, it's just be yourself and try not to um, accept fear, try not to accept shame, and try not to accept anybody telling you to be something other than who you are, because who you are is created by God. And you are loved, absolutely loved. And I just really appreciate you hanging out with me. It's been a lot of fun. This is a weird week, <laughs> a weird week. But we spent a lot of time playing with a puppy dog around here and that is not a problem. The Lord bless you and keep you and give you health and wellness and strength for each new day. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. I mean, I've got the I've got the camera on the bed. It's gonna be a little bit rocky. <laughs> Hello, hey girl. Honey, you're good. Which is more interesting, the toy or the thumb holding the toy? <laughs> oh, pfft. I just hit myself in the hip with it, didn't I? Yes, you are such a sweet girl. She's such a sweet girl. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness.
because you're such a sweet girl. Ah, hello. So, where was I? There's something about having a dog in your lap chewing on something that is a little bit distracting and the ADD makes it really hard to keep a, a train of thought when you're a baby girl. A delicious turquoise thing to chew and something to talk about with all the nice people.